Hey guys, thank you for watching. I never thought I'd be drawing my worst nightmare on my face, but here we are. It's Halloween. Get ready. Um, this is my favorite, favorite holiday. So I had a lot of fun creating this look today. Like, it looks so realistic. I had a lot of inspiration. I mean, this came straight out of Tina Halada's makeup tutorial. I have her picture right here. And I will leave a link to her video down below. You guys should definitely check that video out and her channel because I, I watch her channel every day. It is so um, just really informative and just fun to watch. She comes up with crazy beautiful looks. She is stunning. She's so young too. I think like she's 17, 18, 16, 17. Around there, she's very young. So you go, girl. Um, but yeah, I got this look from her. She did an amazing job. So if you guys want to see how I created this spider, red, scandalous, glossy, I look for Halloween, then keep on watching. I wish I can wink with the spider. <laughs> I'm very scared, guys. Okay, so for the black, Part. I have like a picture reference that I'm looking at. I'm looking at exactly Tina's photo. I mean, guys, she is so stunning. Can we just admire this for one second? It came out beautiful. Now, I am not going to do two spiders. I kind of just want one. Like, boo. We're not going to do this side, probably. Anyway, yeah, we're doing one spider. Oh, I'm very scared. Because this is dealing with a lot of black and you guys know I hate putting black on my eyes, but hopefully this is going this is this is gonna go well. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Beauty Killer Beauty Killer palette from Jeffree Star. I love this palette. And we're going to use black rainbow. Now, yes, this has some shimmer in it, but this is just going to be my base, and I'm going in with my Ulta Beauty eyeshadow brush. It's like a very, very nice. It's almost, I thought it was like a concealer brush, but it's a very nice Packer eyeshadow brush. We like those. I cannot stop looking at this picture. Like I just hope mine comes out somewhat similar. So I'm always going to be like looking in this mirror right here um, because I don't know how else do this now I have a full face of makeup on obviously my goodness if it looked like this I would be a blessed child let's just go on oh this is actually pretty black oh my god my worst nightmare is literally coming to life hate black god. oh no 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 it's already falling out guys Guys, it's already no. Oh my god. No, this cannot happen today. Seriously? You know what? We're gonna do something that I can never do on this channel. And we're gonna bake right underneath this eye. So I'm going to take my Morphe translucent setting powder and my beauty blender and we're baking today honey because i cannot have this today i cannot have fallout today this cannot happen oh my god how do you bake am i doing this correctly is your sponge like please comment down below is your so is your sponge supposed to be damp when you're putting on your baking powder this is not working out for me <laughs> I go in with a brush and just like pack it on <laughs> guys I need help oh my goodness I am just gonna dump it out how do girls just bake like in one swipe it looks effortless I don't get it all right well yep we're just gonna have to hope for the best here Okay, back to the black. Oh my god. And there's so much fallout. Guys, this is bad. I'm 
just gonna try to be as neat as possible with this. And now I'm going to take, let's take a blending brush. I'm going to now use my Morphe M441. And this really has like nothing on it. You guys should honestly get one of these eyeshadow, um, I call them like an eyeshadow eraser. They kind of just take off the eyeshadow color that you're using at the moment. I'm just going, oh my god, I, I hate my life right now. I really hate my life. Oh my god! Never mind. Never mind. Okay, let's use a different brush. My Luxie 227. Oh my god, guys, that looks atrocious. That looks atrocious. Guys, something is going terribly wrong with this look already. I'm not happy. Oh my god, we should have done red eyeshadow. Red would have made my whole life easier. So I'm just going to blend this out and try not to cry. How do people put black on their eyes? Please tell me. Please let me know. Please let me know. I'm not having it. So just try to blend that out as seamlessly as possible. I mean, there's like a really, oh my God, guys, this looks so bad. Why did I do this? Um, I'm actually gonna go in with the Jacqueline and Morphe palette. Jacqueline, what did I say? Jacqueline, great. Let's use this black shade right here. Hmm. Okay. All right. What am I gonna do on this fallout on my nose? I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just somehow created black freckles on myself. All right. Cool. Cool. I'm hating everything about this so far. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe 441 brush and use the shade Courtney from his palette, which is this nude shade right here. And I'm going to blend that in with the transition that we have going, oh my God, oh my God, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse, it's getting worse. Oh my God. Oh my God. Someone needs to teach me how to do this. All right, I went in with my, now, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Luxie 205 Tamper Blending brush, actually, because that one is not working. Is this palette like expired or something? There's so much fallout coming out of this. I cannot believe it. And I don't remember being like this. All right, this is not looking so bad with the transition shade. Right. Okay, you know, let's just put the spider on and hope that's gonna look way better when it's done. So let's do that, guys. I am going to use this Anastasia lip uh, palette. Basically, we're going to use the shades Primary 1, which is the white, and Primary 2, which is the black. Now, I have, in her video, she said to use a white eyeliner pencil, and I have one from NYX, but like, I don't know if it's going to work still. And she basically did that white eyeliner pencil to outline where she wanted the legs to go. So let's try that. I'm just gonna sharpen my pencil. Oh my lord. I should have prayed before this video. Jesus. Yeah, so we're gonna do this side. Oh my lord. Let's see how this goes. So I'm just gonna start off with two legs come out and around to like her contour.
Kuchen. Oh my god, guys, now it's time for the black. I'm so scared. So this one's definitely actually like a pretty good outline. Just so you don't jump straight into eyeliner. I feel like that would be really scary. I mean, for me, if you're good with eyeliner, go ahead, do your thing. But I actually liked how she did this as an outline first. I think it really helped. <sighs> okay, yeah, now time for the black. A little bit scary. So let's go in with this. I'm just gonna take this pencil out because it's gonna get in the way. And now I have a bunch of tiny, precise brushes here and I'm just going to be like in and out of them just to see which one works better. I think I'm actually going to save this Laura Mercier one for the white. Let's actually use this one right here. This is like an eBay one. It's very fine, like an eyeliner brush. Let's use this. And again, we're dipping into the shade primary two of the lip palette. Oh my gosh, this is actually really pigmented. All right, and oh my god, let's just go over the whites. This is so cool. I'm actually having fun now because, guys, the black eyeshadow for me is just, I don't know why I find it so hard to do. You know, we may actually have to put more black eyeshadow. I feel like the eyeliner is going to be darker than the, um, than the eyeshadow. Like, I want the legs and the eyeshadow to be exactly the same color. That's how it is in her picture, and it looks stunning. All right, so let's just bring it out of the... Yep, it is darker. Yeah, you kind of want it to get thin and, like, meet right there. Do you get what I'm saying? There we go. So for the joints, I found it better using the eyeshadow cat, um, oh my god, the Kat Von D ink liner. Therefore you get a very precise line and I don't know, this brush is just not thin enough for the joints. This is just perfect for the legs. And then when it comes to the joints, I'm going to go back in with the eyeliner. You have to remember, you don't want also like a thick leg too. I think the size that she did is actually pretty neat. Cause the end of this leg, she flipped it out, like, made it into a very thin line, so that's what I did too, and actually really cool. Um, I think it's doing it for me to look like an actual real leg, it's like, you'll see when it comes down to like the eyeshadow and the shadowing, it's very cool.
So right now I'm taking the black eyeliner and I am putting that on my eyelid just to make it as black as I want it to because like there's a huge, huge difference. And I'm also going to pack that on right here as well. This is a Elitica Well eyeliner. This is actually an eyeliner that I got from Portugal. Um, I will put the Portugal makeup video right up here. It was actually a disaster. I hate to say that about Portuguese makeup, but oh my lord, it was it was pretty terrible. But this eyeliner is pretty pitch black and it's perfect for what I'm going for right now. So yes, I am packing that onto this eye look. Just so we can get it to the black that I want it to. And of course I'm going to blend that out later, guys. Like this is a rough, very rough sketch of what we're going for today. And this eyeliner is just helping us. All right, guys, I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Um, the eyeliner, I'm going to blend it out with these legs. And I'm using my Luxie 227 blending brush. I'm going to start putting on the white part of the legs so basically we're going to go in with this white shade primary one and I'm going to use the brush that came with the Anastasia lip palette and let's just actually I'm not because that has some residue from lipstick <laughs> let's go in with my Laura Mercier um, eyeliner flat eyeliner brush this is actually a very good detailed brush And basically, you're gonna put the um the white like before the joint, so like right here. Wow, that's super pigmented. And like on the joint. 
basically you can just have fun with it do whatever you want put little hints here and there And basically, I'm just going to put the whites all along the joints of the spider. And I'm in like some parts right here, it's a little bit faded. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then go back over it. Therefore, it's not gonna be messy or clumpy either. Okay guys, so I fixed um, the white, I added like another layer of black, I also like have been packing on some black eyeshadow because I forgot that the creamy black eyeliner is going to make it like crease a little bit, so I used some more of this matte black shade and I've just been like going over it. So basically, um, it's not creasing really, do you see what I'm talking about? The color is kind of fading because we put on that creamy eyeliner there we go so that looks better <laughs> and now it is time for the shadowing which is going to be fun and I'm going to use Vanity, a part of Jeffree Star's eyeshadow palette. It's like a brownish gray. And I'm using my accent brush from Techniques, Real Techniques. Remember a long time ago I got this for free at Beautycon? It was, it was four years ago. Oh my god. So basically, what she did was she, from the point of the leg, all the way down to where like the eyeshadow would be so let's try that out I'm using very light brushing oh God, it looks so cool. and you want to make sure it goes like with the motion of the leg so if the leg is curved you don't want a straight shadow my god that looks crazy this is so cool oh.
Oh my god, it looks so cool. Wow, cool. Oh my god. That looks really dope. That looks so Okay, so from here on out, guys, it's just finishing finishing touches. I see fallout, like things are not blended. Oh my lord. Um, and yeah, and we have to do the bottom lash line, so that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna take my Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner in black, and let's just swipe that across the bottom lash line. All right, now to prevent some more fallout, I'm gonna try not to go in with black eyeshadow because, oh my gosh, blending out black eyeshadow on the bottom lash line is a suicide mission right now. So I'm basically just going to take the same brush that we just did for the shadowing and blend that out to make it look like it's eyeshadow. Now, to diffuse like the eyeshadowing a little bit, I'm going to go in with my big highlighting brush. And I'm basically just going to dip into China White from Jeffree Star's palette. And I'm just going to like tap that on the shadowing that we did. Yeah, there we go. I just want to diffuse it tad bit because it looks a little too pigmented for like a shadow do you guys get what i'm saying i don't know but i think that looks better and it, this is also kind of blending the shadow into the skin this looks so cool so like i said in the beginning of the video heard the hard work definitely really paid off i really like how this looked would i do this ever again no um i hate black guys and i don't know why i never complain about like the process but my hand was literally cramping up the whole entire time and i found it so frustrating i don't know if you guys noticed but like here my foundation is different it's very dry from the amount of times i had to go over it because of all the fallout it completely ruined my foundation i i look like a crocodile i feel like a crocodile it's just i don't feel 110 percent like happy with the makeup look i'm happy with the spider not with the rest of the makeup i feel like this is still all choppy and like not blended that well but the more I touch it, the worse it gets. So I'm honestly just going to leave it by itself. Um, I am going to put a little bit of highlighter. But let's find a shade that would work with this look. So I can never go wrong with my Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Cream Palette. And let's go in with Gator Wings. I absolutely love this highlighting shade. And I'm using my NARS number 12 brush. Highlights above the brows. Now I noticed that Tina also put highlight like where the spider is. I think she probably did that like before. I can't remember before she put it on. But this looks really cool. She also put highlight. Now I was just gonna leave it alone, but this look needs something because it's like so dry and like crusty. I wish you can see it in person. It's really like, ugh. And I'm sorry, I guess it's just because I had a really hard time. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna even put highlighting on the spider side. But I am gonna put a little highlight here on the inner corner. And definitely, like, in the. Right there. Looks cool. Alright, I'm going to pop. Pop, pop it on. <laughs> I'm gonna go pop on some mascara. Now, lashes would like take away um, from the look, and you guys know I don't do lashes anyways. So, 
someone still needs to teach. I'm using my Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara, my favorite. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Seraphine. Ooh, Seraphine. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my God. The black eyes and the red lip, I feel like a different I look scary. So I don't even know if I should do like a gloss, but we can always take it off. I'm going to go in with my Kylie Jenner Cosmetics, Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Cherry Pie. Now this is kind of like a pink undertone. Mm, yeah, it's kind of pinky, but it's going to make it look a little glossy. Let's see. Mm. Yes. Ooh, okay guys, this is the final look. I am so excited because this looks so cool. I kind of wish like I was going out somewhere now, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon and I still haven't ate breakfast. Fun. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna do this again. It honestly took me like two hours, but filming time because like I had to pause to um, charge my phone and oh my gosh, two hours. Don't get me wrong, it was a lot of fun. I definitely learned a lot. I feel like if I would to do it a second time, I would do a hell of a lot differently. I wouldn't set my foundation because that made it ten times worse. Um, for fallout purposes, eyeliner purposes, like almost everything that you could think of, don't set your foundation. Um, and I would put highlight first here, like where the legs are. There's not much highlight here because I had to go in between. Here, you know, she's popping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and comment down below because your girl did a lot of work for this. Yeah, so leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. There's more Halloween looks coming up. I'm very excited, and don't forget to check out my fall glam tutorial it's honestly like very pretty <laughs> you can wear it any time of the year but it's definitely fall oriented definitely the 